How are we, folks? Uh, Sunday. <laughs> closer attention than most you will notice that I wasn't in yesterday's vlog and um, mainly because I didn't do anything yesterday uh, I worked Friday night into Saturday morning um, got into bed about 7 30 got up at 12 30 had some breakfast a cup of coffee and then I went off into the city center to meet a friend and we spent the day uh, chilling out hanging out eating drinking shooting the shit so I didn't do anything yesterday was a day off a day off from everything um and it was absolutely fantastic the weather was great i'm a little bit sunburned i don't know if you can tell my nose here is all red uh because i was sitting in the sun and i'm irish and i born and that's the way it goes um so yeah apologies i wasn't around yesterday uh paul in a brief update of course which you'll have seen hopefully he's still working away on the todd herman's uh, 90 day year affiliation that we're doing um and doing a great job so i'm looking forward to that ah hello how's it going how are you keeping well so it is sunday and sunday is typically a planning day and essentially that's what we're going to be focused on is planning out how this week this week is going to run so going to be finishing off our I suppose, 90 day year affiliation um this product go the service goes on sale tomorrow monday and it will be uh, available until Thursday towards the end of the week so only a very short window for people to decide to either get involved and take advantage of it or else they're going to just you know you know keep going and uh, and you know hopefully be productive potentially missing out on the productivity tips which are really like a year so that's uh, that's the focus on top of that looking at uh, scheduling some time in with Phil we're i suppose we're on our 90 days that we're working on we're kind of hitting about 70 75 days so now it's time to look back and see what's working what's not working and start thinking about well, what do we want to focus on for the next quarter for the next 90 days after that so we had a session on friday where we caught up with each other we kind of started brainstorming a few ideas some things are working some things are not so now it's a time of gone well actually that's grand what what do we do next um, well, I will probably spend a little bit of time working on the, the products this week, so that's uh, in my mind. Um, Phil has taken ownership of the 30 minute vlogger Mark II. So this is the advanced course versus the free course that we have available at the moment. So interesting to see what's going on from there. Um, what we're going to look at doing with that is validate it first rather than go and create a huge amount of content that potentially people don't want. So. That is going to be the this case there. We'll you know we'll we'll figure out what the ins and outs of actually means and what we're going to actually you know have in and have out of that. At the moment we've got a you know a broad stroke third broad stroke say thirty thousand feet view down on what's going to be in it. Um, but it feels going to be working in the sales space that to make it a little bit more specific. So and for me this week we did sit down on Friday um, before Paul kicked me out of the office. And uh, we spoke about plans for content. Um, and as I was saying to you guys, that my editorial calendar for the, the quarter that we planned out has finished. Um, because we like to leave some space at the end to see what's working, what's not. And so we can create content maybe that, that kind of fills a gap that we might have missed at the start of the planning. So we don't have every week planned out, but we've got a good chunk of it. And really what we've decided is that I'm not going to create any content this week. Um, I'm looking at ways to improve the traffic going to the content um, that's already out there. So I've been working on that, as you've seen. Um, and I'm going to start putting together the uh, the sales page for our 30-minute blog, or Mark II is what we're calling it um, at the moment, um, course, which is going to be effectively showing you, if you have a blog post, how you can get the most out of that. So how to get the maximum exposure from the work you're actually doing. Um, so we're talking about repurposing that content on various different platforms, other ways of promoting it um, across the likes of Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, uh, 
and essentially just tells you the biggest bang for your book um so i'm gonna start working on that i'm not going to be doing too much today it's going to be just sitting down and mapping out um, all of the areas i need to cover and um, what videos i might need to create and pretty much just plan out the sales page and the videos and any email copy that i need to create uh, but i won't actually be making anything today but i will be focusing on that for the week and um, so hopefully by the end of next week so maybe by next sunday uh, i will have that finished and any videos i need to create an email copy and stuff will be done um, so i think the only thing we will be creating from a content standpoint for well i will be creating uh, will hopefully be uh, the q a is back this week uh, i was hoping to have my camera that looks like it's not going to arrive until tuesday which is probably too close for comfort so i'm probably going to record a q a tomorrow uh, so i'll push out a q a on tuesday and a podcast hopefully on thursday i'll speak to paul we may record on tuesday evening all going well i'll see how his calendar is looking and we squeeze in a recording somewhere we may even do a recording tonight i don't know we'll have to sort that out and um, so that's what i'm going to be at today so i'm going to go now and just sit with a pen and paper old school old-fashioned uh, with a pen and paper and uh, map out what's uh, what i need to do to get that sales page uh, created and then live so uh, i'll check if i can with you in a bit. that leaves me focusing on the blog orders and there's a couple of people who i'm in touch with i'm probably going to uh, give them orders free of charge and then also looking at the world the one-to-one -one coaching and that's going to go along with people who decide to go for the uh, the 90 day year uh, program with ourselves and um, we're going to provide some one-to-one -one coaching with them so that that's kind of where I suppose where that will, will come from. We've been doing this ad hoc for a number of people over the last few years, kind of here and there, and this is just a way for us to maybe formalize it and make people know that, look, it is something that's widely available, as opposed to just being, you know, most meeting people and then realizing, you know what, there's, there's uh, you know, an option for us to work together, and then we go ahead and do that. But um, I mean, look, essentially that is that. So anything else, I'm considering playing with Facebook ads. I don't know. I have Facebook Pixel set up on the site. I might do it as part of the 90 day year uh, affiliate push and I'll do a bit of research on that. I'm not going to jump in and just throw money into it and just start going. I'm going to read up on it and see if there's, if there's a point in it. Check out the data, check out what our audience information looks like. I've set that up you know, probably maybe a month ago, maybe a little bit more. Um, so yeah, I'll get to see if, if that's actually worth using to help pe push people towards the 90 day year or not. So. Other than that, that's all that's going on. Um, probably one final thing is I might look at adding some sort of instant messaging software to the website temporarily. I've heard Zendesk is recommended, so I'll probably set up a 14-day trial on that and see if that's any good. So there's a whole load of tasks, but as I said at the very top of this video, now is about planning and about figuring out, well, what am I going to do for the rest of the week? So I'm going to finish my rather large coffee and I am going to get to it. So I'll chat to you guys tomorrow. Right, okay. So I've done my uh, rough plans out for the 30-minute uh, blogger Mark II course. And I've come up with a couple of ideas uh, around the promotion of it. And I'm also going to put together a case study. Now, I need to speak to Paul about this um, just to kind of run through a few details with him. But I can't see it being an issue. Um... I mean, one of the premises for what we do is very much a case that we see a lot of people promising the earth, moon and the stars and it's just, it's just not realistic. People leverage systems based on their current position and what they've already built. So you see the how I got 10,000 email subscribers in a week kind of stuff and that's fine and it's yes, it's possible they can prove it's real. But for most people, that's not going to happen because they don't have the subscriber base or the amount of traffic built up that these people do. So. I'm going to put together a case study um, which pretty much outlines how this works and the actual results you can hope to achieve with the 30 minute blogger mark 2 course that I'm putting together and it's particularly as I was saying earlier on it's around driving traffic to the content you've already created so how you can get the biggest bang for your book with a blog post um, through various ways and means and I'm going to go and do those I'm actually going to apply the teachings to one of our blog posts that I've that I have sitting there that's live. Um, so I've pretty much taken all the stats, um, taken a record of all the stats for that blog post now. And then I'm gonna apply the teachings and then look at the stats afterwards and uh, get an, at least you get an idea of the what's realistic, what you can actually expect and how it can increase your traffic and obviously the amount of views this one piece of content is getting. Um, so that's the plan. Um, so I've mapped that out. 
So really what I need to spend the next day or two at is putting together all of the stuff I want to do uh, for the case study. So I have the teachings, I know what we're going to be showing people during the 30 minute blogger mark two. I'm going to apply those to this piece of content and then track the results. So I need to spend the next two days creating that um, content for this article, if that makes sense. So there's certain things we're going to be telling people they should be doing with their content to get the greatest impact from it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that with this one blog post that I've singled out that I'm going to use as part of the case study. So I want to get that, all that stuff done um, over the next two days and then I'll be able to monitor the results of each of the efforts and see how it works. Um, so I can actually show people that what we're talking about isn't just pie in the sky, airy fairy, that it's achievable by absolutely anybody regardless of your pre-existing social media following, blog following, everything else. So that's the plan. So yeah, now that that's mapped out, I am pretty much gonna chill out for the evening. Uh, it's Sunday here, there's some football on, there's a Formula One on, um, so I'm gonna chill out and watch all that and enjoy my Sunday evening and get at it busy tomorrow. So uh, have a good one wherever you are, whatever you're up to, and I'll chat to you then. <laughs>